My lord, Moff Valiant Pyron, I've heard much about you. I thought it was time we spoke. I've been watching this conflict between you and Thanaton. I intend to be on the winning side. And which side have you deemed that to be? I don't know yet. However, Thanaton's particular old-fashioned philosophy cannot survive much longer regardless. You lack Imperial connection, but with the proper display of patriotism, you could easily win many of the Moths to your side. My loyalty to the Empire is unquestionable. It is my duty to serve. If only more Sith Lords thought like you. At Thanaton's behest, the Empire recently cut funding on a project called The Silencer. A super weapon capable of disintegrating an entire armada. If an ambitious young Sith were to see the weapon to completion, and then test fire it on a Republic fleet, she would be well regarded. What's necessary to complete the weapon? A sensor chip. The CN-12. Incredibly rare and powerful. The chip is only built on Nar Shaddaa. It's illegal in the Republic. In the Empire, it's... Well, we don't use it lightly. But I understand your little cult on Nar Shaddaa has moved into electronic weaponry and is now the chief supplier of these chips. I will consult my cult and see what we can do for you. I'm pleased to hear it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have this business of the war to attend to. Hey, I got an idea. You ever fly to the middle of nothing, cut the engines, and just drift? I'm always looking for an excuse to waste time. You won't regret it. I promise. Ever find it funny how no matter where you are in the galaxy, it always looks like you're at the center of things. I think it's beautiful. It's freedom. It's endless possibilities, you know. Any direction you go. I guess it's that normally I start feeling strangled right now. You know, in a relationship. Like I gotta run away. This morning I woke up and thought, I'm out of here. And then I realized I, I didn't want to go. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, it's stupid, I know. Uh, my lord, remember I told you about my mentor, Orsilio Gan? He took me under his wing after I discovered the domesticated Rancor Tooth. I was polishing the Rancor Tooth and placing it among my things when I noticed a medallion he gave me last time we met. I decided to call him, but none of his frequencies work anymore. When was the last time you spoke to him? It was before I went to Hof. We met at a cantina on Nar Shaddaa for a little light archaeological talk. He said it was on his way to Malachor III. That's when he gave me the medallion. It's the last I saw of him. What was this medallion he gave you? Oh, it was just a knockoff. He said some hut tried to pass it off as the real thing. It was quite canny, though. I just thought he'd had too much to drink. He did love to imbibe. If you need my help searching for him, you'll have it. Oh, well, thank you. I'm sure it's nothing. You can't keep an Imperial Reclamation Service man down. I guess I'll keep an ear and an eye out. I'll let you know if I discover anything. If you hadn't become Sith, what did you want to be? have settled for not a slave. Yeah. I guess I would have felt the same in your shoes. I've been thinking about this lately. I was trained to be a Jedi practically from birth. I wonder if it was the right thing. I never really got the chance to choose. You can do whatever you want now. I guess I'm still trying to figure out what I want. My lord, 
I know I'm not officially your apprentice, but I wanted to thank you. I know we've not always seen eye to eye, but I've learned so much from you and your example. I never would have believed a Sith could follow the light until I met you. I couldn't do it without you. I'm glad I can help. I feel more at one with the Force than I've ever felt. I have peace like the Jedi speak of and freedom like the Sith. So, thank you. How saip, say uran sa sayans, do sayan frawa. Thank you, Kem. I'm honored. Aulas jasir banas ja taimar paus aiklas jan laune kai in kuda aitin. Yes, thank you, apprentice. This body has some remarkable abilities. I'm beginning to rather enjoy it. Go away, Zash. Now. That's not very polite, after all I've done for you. You're nothing without me, and you know it. Jawais from Bama Daga, I house the didum, Nevely Lidum. My lord, you've returned to us. My lord. The great healer who shaped the earth with a thought. Is it true you killed Darth Zash? And that you can bind ghosts and steal their power? My lord, take this. It's not much, but we want you to have it. I believe I placed someone in charge of this cult while I'm gone. Where would he be? I told him you'd returned. He's coming to see you right now. My lord, how delightful to see you again. I am sorry to hear of your struggles with Darth Thanaton, but there can be no doubt you are the future of the Sith. I have kept our, uh, I mean, your cult well maintained in your absence. So what's this about my cult and the CN-12 sensor chip? I need one for a special project. The CN-12? Why, that was just some speculation, a side project of ours. But I am delighted if you would find it useful. Unfortunately, a new gang lord, the Vale, is giving us a bit of trouble. Our last CN-12 shipment was stolen, and our supply chain is dead. The Vale will answer to me. I hope so. The more the Vale interferes, the more costly this endeavor becomes. Uh, the, the Veil stays well out of view in Shadow Town. When I tried to negotiate, he said he would only talk to you. But I didn't think that would be possible. Perhaps I can persuade this Veil character to see things my way. Ah, oh, few can withstand your charms. <laughs> Best wishes and good luck. I am here as requested. Which one of you is the Veil? I am the Veil. No, I am the Veil. No, it is me. I am the Veil. Actually, none of us are the Veil. Because all of us are the Veil. Still, we are all very glad to make your acquaintance, Cult Master. It's a pleasure to make yours. I understand you have the CN-12? You want the CN-12. Everyone wants the CN-12. But few are willing to pay the price. The denizens of Nar Shaddaa do not want to enrich your silly puppet, Palladius. Give us control of your cult, and we will give you the CN-12. You seem to have made a mistake. 
I am not Lord Palladius. I am not a fool. That is why we wanted to deal with you. The fool that runs your cult serves only himself. Why settle for a cult when you can have an empire? Our resources extend beyond the CN-12. Armies need weapons. Ships need engines. What does your cult provide you now? Donations? Artifacts? We offer that and more. Our reach extends across the galaxy. Simply send a signal from one of these devices, and our servants will come to your aid anywhere in the galaxy, not just on Nar Shaddaa. You will give me the CN-12, and you will serve me. We will give you the CN-12. We will serve you. Please, let us join your cult. I wish I had thought of it myself. Thank you, my lord. Here is the CN-12. We assure you, you will not regret this. I've recovered the CN-12. Thank you for your help. Excellent news! I am glad if I was able to repay, even in the slightest, the immense debt I owe you. Stay as long as you like. The cultists cannot have enough of your presence, and neither can I. Very efficient. I promised you my respect and support, but you have also gained my admiration. I trust you've heard the bad news. Darth Thanaton's superior on the Dark Council died mysteriously. Darth Thanaton has succeeded him. I'm guessing I don't want to know why this is so terrible. The Dark Council are the galaxy's most powerful Sith. Thanaton will have access to all resources in his Pyramid of the Sith Hierarchy. I assure you my loyalty is secure, but I don't know how the other Moffs will feel about opposing a Dark Council member. Now, more than ever, the silencer must be completed, and you must take the credit. The Moffs must see the true future of the Sith Empire. What's your investment in this again? If it weren't for Sith tradition, we would have crushed the Republic when we had the chance. Thanaton is old blood. I will contact you when the weapon is ready for demonstration. Good luck, my lord. My lord, the Belsavis machine. It's made you better, but it wasn't enough to drive the voices from your head, was it? I can't take much more of this, truth be told. Zash is indisposed at the moment, but we still have the writings of Darth Vilas. We should go to Voss. Your body is cured, but Master Ryan always said a Jedi's mind must be whole. It's the same for a Sith. You can't face Thanaton until you can control the dead you've bound. Patai Kuibanist. Ni fragiles fraujan, kup peinana. Ay kagay wair papa fraujins ala patay kalakay in alama. She is tormenting you, making you too paranoid to rest. Unswekon pose warp warp by nupai insats jains ones jan. Ungas ayv no no jape siglos fraudnos jus jape raika jape. What do you suggest I do? Ja us de ans al frost no job. Diabulus af stop fara. And how do you suggest I do that? Unt in amagas kapana, warpan, himinam arpai bohav nona. 
I thought he'd never relent. He's been unusually stubborn lately. I can barely get a word in edgewise. He thinks you're plotting against him. He's no fool. I'll give him credit for that. It's clear the two of us can't share this body for much longer. One of us must win, and I don't intend to lose. But I need your help. What do you need me to do? Nothing at the moment, but soon. I believe I can replicate Tulak Hall's ritual without the help of the artifact. It won't be an exact copy, and whoever gets cast out will die. When the time comes, I'll need you to convince Kemval to go quietly. That's easier said than done. I trust you'll think of something. Aba barna habans, klaub bena, ni in usa kwai, usi terens apipao. In pamal hap fralat forte fuima, alizos kaskaf tais. My lord, I'm glad you're here. I wanted to read you this letter I received. I've been writing to my parents. I haven't seen them since I was little. Dear Ashara, we're glad to hear you're happy and well. We're very proud that you've become a Jedi. Asha is nearly 16 and plans to join Republic Special Forces. Love, Mom and Dad. I haven't gotten around to telling them that I'm working with a Sith. I'm not sure they'd understand. You really ought to tell them. You think so? We only just started writing, and it's been 15 years since I last saw them. I guess you're right. My lord, I've solved it. I've figured it out. I don't understand how I could have missed it. The outer layer of the medallion responds to heat. It melted away and revealed this. It's a heat-resistant casing, with a data chip inside. I'm beginning to believe your claims that your mentor was a genius. He was certainly one of a kind. The chip said he was looking for the tomb of Via Santinus. He said he was going to Malachor III, but everyone knows the tomb is on Alderaan. I believe Orsilio Gan went to Alderaan. I'm going to find him. Did you have any luck finding your mentor? No, my lord. I'm afraid the trip was all for nothing. Norcelio Gam was already gone. Nobody could tell me where. He was definitely in the tomb of Via Santinus. His workmanship was all over the site. But he left no clue that I could find. I'm sure he'll turn up somewhere. Don't you worry. I've not given up hope. Detective work such as this is much different from archaeology, after all. It's all about observation and deduction. And Orcelio Gam taught me well. Oh, I almost forgot. I found this in the tomb of Via Santinus. I thought you might find it handy. Um, I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. Via Santinus was a meticulous record keeper. These are the genealogies of all the great Sith Lords of his day. Look, here is your ancestor, Lord Kallig. Bloodlines are very important in the Empire, my lord. Not to mention the historical value. We've arrived at the space station. From here, we can get transport to Voss. Let's figure out what we're doing. Voss? Who ever heard of such a place? You are going crazy. <laughs> I can't believe you think you can chase us away with some mythical healing ritual. You think you're the puppeteer, but you're just the puppet. I'll get you out of my skull, even if it means splitting it open and grabbing you myself. Sounds like things are getting worse up there. Hope we find this cure soon. You've been strong, but until you control these ghosts, they're of no use to you. I've been studying Darth Vilas' journals. It seems Vilas also found himself with unwanted tenants and came here to Voss for a cure. What was he after? Some kind of ritual. So it would appear. Voss is a recent and strange discovery. A utopia built around a group of Force users called Mystics. 
The mystics aren't Sith or Jedi, though. For them, the Force is a conduit of healing, and sometimes visions. Rituals that manipulate the Force are rare, and often forbidden. Tell me about these visions. My understanding is that they are infrequent but powerful glimpses of the future that provide guidance to Voss society. But the ritual that will heal your mind is forbidden. The Voss... Stop! Ni Basai, Kabarada, Ayu Papro, Ni Magnasivan. I was wondering when you'd show up again. After I'm healed, you're next, Kim. I promise. From the Bunao, Matita White. Notes say to talk to someone called Athelis Callus. Supposed to be researching the Voss. Guess we should start there. <laughs>